This is a photo of a shipyard in Russia taken from space. Today you could easily access an image like this from your cell phone, but this picture is 45 years old, taken by one of these formerly classified satellites now on display at the National Museum of the Air Force. They're very meaningful for the museum because they were very, very secret for a long time and now their stories can be told and the way that they uh, helped maintain world peace and national security can also be told. What they did in secret was astonishing. Even before the invention of the handheld calculator, these space vehicles were able to take a picture of a single building while orbiting up to 100 miles above the Earth's surface. They provided information about Soviet and other adversaries, weapons development, industrial development, even agricultural development, and also mapping for war planning. That was information that we couldn't get any other way. Without these three vehicles and visual information they provided, we would have known much less about what our adversaries were up to. All of this stuff was done before anybody had a personal computer or a cell phone. All of this was about mathematics and slide rules and wet film cameras and the ingenuity to make all of these things work together in a way that would return you the information that national security planners needed. The museum's new satellite exhibit is just one example of how Air Force technology has been used behind the scenes to keep America safe. This is the place where you can come see that stuff that you formerly were not allowed to see or or know about. Um, there are aircraft and weapons and all sorts of systems here uh, that were very much secret uh, at some part of, of their service lives during the Cold War and b even before that. No longer a secret, the public now has a chance to see these satellites up close at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. Tech Sergeant Nicholas Kurtz, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio.